hey guys welcome back to my channel so far we've done lots of different tutorials um, with pencil and graphite sketching and today I thought I would go over five different ways to show you how you can create highlights in your artwork so way number one for this you would need a piece of paper and a pencil and that's all so for example let's imagine that you are working on something shiny and you would like to create a highlight all you need to do is just create a little shape on the paper and shade around it it doesn't really matter which technique you're using you can be using cross hatching or maybe even smudging technique but the main creation of your highlight would be based on you reserving a white piece of paper and just leaving that so that's first way to create a highlight now this kind of technique is great for very quick sketching or for preliminary sketches that you would do before you start working on your paintings it also works really well with charcoal and pastel sketching alike so that's first way of creating your highlights by reserving a space now here is another way to create highlights and for this you would need again a piece of paper something that you're drawing on a pencil and an eraser any kind of eraser would do for that very quick demonstration of this one So you're shading, you're creating your values, you've got something darker, and then you've got a lighter area. So you can just grab your eraser and create a highlight. This is probably the most popular way to create highlights that most people use. This way is perfect for when you are drawing and you need to erase larger areas. Uh, especially if you need to remove your graphite completely so any kind of drawing uh, would really benefit from this kind of highlight creation now a third way to create a highlight is with the use of paper pencil and a mechanical eraser now it's a very similar eraser to this one but this will give you so much more precision and you will be able to create a lot of details demonstration time so you're drawing along working on things you want to create and then you realize that you need to do a highlight now an eraser like this is quite large so it's quite hard to get into little details so this is perfect for creating these very small little details and it also gives you an opportunity to really get in there and remove most of the graphite of the paper so here we go so this is away number three and this kind of technique is perfect for either very detailed work or for just going over some of the strongest highlights uh, at the end of your uh, drawing process like for example highlights in the eyes or you know little highlights on the feathers or just just tiny little things really okay so now let's move on to technique number four of creating highlights for that you would need something to draw on your pencil and the putty rubber Now, putty rubber is a pretty cool thing because it's almost it's very pliable, almost like you know blue tack, blue tack or those sticky um, tacks. But it actually has an ability to remove quite a bit of graphite. You can shape it and give it any kind of edge, like you can do a really thin edge like this, or you can use a larger area and rather than completely erasing it like what we did in technique number two and technique number three where the graphite is completely lifted off your paper here you can dab and 
and erase by lifting up some of the top layers of graphite of your paper. That way you can create really cool hazy effects and very soft lifting. The negative side of this is that even when you try to go really hard, it's over and over, it's quite hard to achieve the same result as you can with a you know with your regular nice thick rubber. But it's another really cool way to create highlights in your work. Now this brings me to the way number five of creating highlights. For that you will also need something to draw on and preferably this should be a thicker paper. It will be quite hard to achieve this technique with a thinner paper so make sure you've got something at least 300 um, GSM thick or thicker. You would also need a pencil of course and this time instead of an eraser we will be using this. Now you can use any kind of a tool that has a reasonably sharp point. What you would need to do is you would need to almost like create these indentations in your paper. So lines, patterns and so on. Now next step would be to actually start drawing. And you see what happens? These lines are reserved. It doesn't matter how many times I will go over them, they will still be just white paper. Now this technique is great for when you are planning to do a lot of shading, like for example working on fur or some small intricate details, uh, patterns and things like that. And you need to reserve these tiny little spaces which will be hard to achieve with this rubber or this eraser. So you see if I try to to do a little line here you see how much thicker this is and how much softer the edges are. So if you want to create for example white whiskers on a black cat this is the technique to go for. But the negative side is that once you put them on there and then you decide that you want to move them a little bit, there isn't, there isn't a really good way of getting rid of them. Because even if I go in and shade this in, I can still see, I don't know if the camera would show it, but I can still see that indentation on the paper that would always stay there. So this is a perfect technique for tiny little things, but please be aware of your placement because once you place it there, that's it, that stays there forever. Okay, and remember, very important to have a paper that's thick enough. If you are using paper that is quite thin, again, it will probably not give you a desired effect and you might even rip your paper. So um, for those of you who like art tutorials and you would like to see more and learn lots of tips and tricks along with longer tutorials and so on, please remember that I've got more stuff on Patreon that's already available and I upload new videos a few times a month over there that are not available on YouTube. So if you would like to have a look at those ones, please go and check out my Patreon page. I will leave the link down below. And I would like to say a big, big thank you to my patrons that are already supporting me there. Thank you guys so much. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more free videos and give this video a like if you learned something new. I'll see you soon.